Hello students. Today we are going to talk about the second option for the summer internship 2020 for Mithila School of Business students. You are already aware that there are three options for doing summer internship this year. Today we are going to talk about the option two, which is called as through MOOC. You can do your summer internship. For all those who are still wondering what MOOC stands for is MOOC means Massive Open Online Course, right? Under MOOC, under MOOC, student can watch videos, lecture innumerable times, and they are also given assignments and quizzes to test their progress. It's just like taking a course in a real life, except that you are watching lectures in the comfort at your home place only. If instead of choosing option one, option one is work from home under the company. In, instead of choosing option one, if you are choosing MOOC option, make sure you are choosing the MOOC which helps you in the placements. It gives you a practical exposure. It gives you a practical assignment which challenge your brainstorming and also helps you to develop a, a practical knowledge which you can you know showcase while sitting for the placements. For choosing a MOOC, the minimum duration or uh, in number of hours should be 50 hours, and in terms of week, minimum week can be four week or it, it can go up to six weeks or beyond if you can finish till 15th June. Uh, you have to pass the certificate, and it must be reflected on your the certificate which you will get after after clearing the MOOC. Your name should be there on the certificate. The grade should be mentioned on the certificate which you will get out of there. Some of the MOOC providers are Coursera, edX, Udacity, Henry Harvin, Upgrade, IMS Pro School, Intern Shala, or Harappa. You can use any one out of these, or you can find any another MOOC provider organization also by yourself. Once you find out the MOOC as per the guidelines and as per your specialization area. You are required to fill the tiny URL form of MOOC verification under Summer Internship 2020. Until and unless your MOOC is verified by the placement team, please do not make the payment. I repeat, you just find out the MOOC first, fill this link in details of yours in this link. Placement team will verify it. Once it is intimated to you that yes, you can proceed with the particular MOOC, only then you are supposed to make the payment for it. This is how your MOOC form uh, in which you have to fill the details looks like. The guideline is written over here. First, you have to give your registration number, then name of the student. Then you have to give the name of the organization which is offering MOOC. Example is if you are choosing Coursera or if you are choosing edX or you are choosing Harappa or you are choosing Henry Harvin, whatever you are choosing, you have to fill the name detail here. Name of the MOOC course, which MOOC course you have chosen like business analytics or digital marketing or you have chosen financial markets, whichever. You have to paste the actual URL link of the MOOC, why it is required. So that we can click on the link and go to that and verify that whether this MOOC which you have chosen should be accepted or not. One of the example is also given like training internshala.com contest marketing ninja. This is the actual URL. You have to open that MOOC course and paste the actual URL over here. Then you have to uh, put the expected start there. But uh, while filling the date, make sure it is in the format of month, day and year. Student while filling. First, they fill the day, which is wrong. It is in the format. Check every detail which you fill. Check twice before filling the options, right? You are supposed to fill the expected start date. You are also supposed to give the domain area of MOOC in which area you are going to do. Uh, though we have given all the areas in this, but still if you have any another area which is not listed here, you can mail separately. Uh, and ask to uh, add it, but please uh, try to be as restricted as from these areas which are given in there only. Then you are supposed to give the expected end date of your MOOC. 
then you have to uh, minimum duration in number of hours which is required is the 50 hours if you have to select whether it is given in the MOOC that it is of 50 hours uh, video learning is there or practical learning is there or not if yes only then it will be accepted then the minimum duration in number of weeks should be four minimum four if student is having six weeks or seven weeks we don't have any issue in that but here we are just asking that at least it is having four weeks if you are choosing a move which is of five weeks you can choose yes here because here we are just asking it is minimum then last is you have to accept the guideline and then you have to submit the form the last thing under MOOC I want to tell you is uh, we are not promoting anything right uh, you can choose any MOOC under any of the uh, MOOC providing organization just for the information that Internshala is providing one of the marketing ninja challenge under which they will teach you digital marketing during the lockdown and there is an option that if you learn and after that you have to submit the project right there is a chance that you can win the cash rewards also some 35,000, 30,000, 20,000 second prize and 10,000 third prize is there the only option challenging is that last date to register is 28th April that is today so you have some time left for which you can register till now also the link is also given in your mail also please be wise while selecting the MOOC which give you the practical experience right thank you all god bless you take good care of yourself and your family